Welcome to the show with the eternal self. Every bit's a banger, best believe he don't mess Do me a favor, drop us up and keep tuning in If you like what you see, go and share with your friends What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel for my members only. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Sabine Wren. Now, we noticed at the very end she saw something and what that was, we still have yet to figure and find out. But let's talk about this. We know that when it comes to Force Ghosts, they are still one of Star Wars' phenomenon that aren't completely understood yet. Now, it's known that Force Ghosts can appear and interact with the living and physically affect the world around them. Now, Force Ghosts are able to appear if they align with the light side of the force meaning sith cannot manifest as force ghosts and only the jedi with proper training can now for many decades it was thought that a force ghost to manifest they may have had a connection to the person that is seeing them now, this theory makes sense for someone like Luke Skywalker, who had seen the Force ghosts of Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, and his father, Anakin Skywalker. But however, in Ahsoka's final scene with Sabine, who had never met Anakin Skywalker and has no real connection with them, it's she's able to sense Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost, and we kind of saw that. Now, this revelation about Force Ghost opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for how Anakin Skywalker could be utilized in Ahsoka Season 2 and beyond. Now, while Ahsoka no longer needs the guidance of her master, that doesn't mean Anakin won't show up every now and then. Anakin was one of the most powerful force users in the galaxy's history, so it makes sense that his force ghost is able to easily manifest anywhere. Now, with the statues of the Mortis gods seen in episode 8 of the Ahsoka series, Anakin's connection to them and the Mortis realm may force him to appear someone other than Ahsoka. Now, if force ghosts don't need to have a direct link to manifest, then this wouldn't be a problem and Anakin could appear to others as well. And it would certainly be interesting to see if Star Wars goes the route of having more force ghosts appear in other content such as Ben Solo in Rey's new movie. Now there has been a lot of why Ahsoka didn't feel or see Anakin Skywalker and they didn't have an interaction. Well if you look at the end she does kind of give a smile like she knows who's there. She knows what Sabine sensed. I think it's just at a point where for Ahsoka the white she has come full circle and her training is complete. She has done everything that she could to have satisfied and fulfilled everything her master had wanted and I think that's what we saw in the world between worlds and that's why she is now that of Ahsoka the White. I think that with this narrative, they were just trying to push it more for Sabine Wren to kind of show that she really is now at in tune with the Force, even though not everybody's too happy about this. And, you know, it is what it is. This is the route Star Wars went and now we just have to take it and see what more they're going to do with Sabine Wren's character as she is now force sensitive and does wield the force. But comment down below, guys. What do you think Sabine Wren sense? Do you think that it was that of Anakin Skywalker? Just as we talked about today, do you guys think that this will open up Pandora's box of them basically putting out more force ghosts for more content? as we will get as the time does go on. This is the Eternal Sith. Catch you in the comment section.